In this training video, we're going to look at linking project to external applications. In this example, we'll use Microsoft PowerPoint. So what I can do with project is take a picture of it and I can save it as a, a picture like, like a JPEG or a PNG image. So that's what we're going to do here. And then we're going to save it to the desktop and then I'm going to import that picture into Microsoft Word as a link. So to capture project as a picture, I can go to the copy option and I can copy picture. So I'm taking a picture of project as it looks at it now. I want it as a GIF image. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'll just put it in a certain position. I'm just going to give it a name, Project Overview. And then OK. And here it goes through. So that's been saved to the desktop. Now I want to insert that into Microsoft Word as a link. So I'm in Microsoft Word with the project overview. I'm going to insert picture from this device. From the desktop. And here it is, project overview. When I insert it, I don't want to just click insert. I want to use the drop down arrow and insert and, and link. Yeah, insert and link or link the file. I'll use insert and link. And there we go. So this has now been inserted into Microsoft Word. And this is now linked to the image which has been saved to the desktop. So I'm going to minimize. Microsoft Word now. I'm going to make some changes to project. So I'm going to go to the format textiles. I'm going to update the summary tasks in formatting. So we can see there's a change there. I'll just minimize, I'll just maximize it a bit. And I want that to be displayed. Now let's say for example, here we can see first and second interview and select applicant is directly after on the Tuesday. Well say now the after the first and second interviews, they decide they want to break before they select an applicant. So they want time to review th review things or make other do other work. They don't want to do it the very next day. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to lag this task behind by ten days. So in fact, I'm going to shift it on ten days. I could do this with a constraint, but I can also do it with lag and lead. And I'm going to go to the predecessor. I'm going to lag it by ten days. So now it's shifted itself on. The dates have changed. And the duration has changed here. And I might pull out the bit more to show the predecessors column in case someone wants to read that for the update. To see what's happened. Okay, I'm going to say now this is the change and I want, now want someone to see this change in Word. So this is now the new reflection of the project. So same, so same principle as copying a picture, so task tab, copy picture. 
copy picture. But what I'm going to do when I use the GIF image, I'm going to use exactly the same name. So I'm not going to change the name and I'm not going to change the location. So it's going to overwrite what's presently there. Now this will work with Word because Word's already linked to it. So providing you keep the same name and the same location, the new change will just overwrite what's already there. So I'm going to say OK to that. And it says, what do you want to do? Do you want to replace it and click over it? Well, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to overwrite it. So I'm going to overwrite it. Now I'm going to go back to Word. It doesn't update straight away. If I click on it. Now on the quick access toolbar, which is where these icons are at the top of the screen in Word, you can add what's called edit links to files and refresh update so either one of these will work so if I press update I can now see the change I can now see the processors column I can now see the gray and then I can now see the way it now looks so we can see this is a clear link to the picture which has been saved onto the desktop so every time I, I want to do something like within project all I've got to do in project is copy picture to the desktop, keep the same name, overwrite it, come into Word, update it, or use edit links to files, either one. And then I can see the true picture of where the project is right now. So quite a nice way for maintaining a link between project and other applications. And we'll just do one more to prove it. So I'll change the color, the gray color to a yellow color. In project so I'm gonna go to project gonna go to the format textiles I'm gonna choose the summary task background I'll make a, a different color this time there you go. Okay, so there's a clear change. I'm now going to copy this to the existing picture on the desktop. So copy picture to the GIF. Keep everything the same in this example. Yes, I want to overwrite it. Now I've got a word. Click on it. Update. And there's the change. So nice and clever. So project could be linked to multiple applications. This is an example of Word. It could have been linked to PowerPoint. It could have been linked to Excel. So any other Microsoft application can be linked with Microsoft Project using this method by copying a picture, saving it somewhere, and then bringing it into the external application as a link, and then an updating project and saving as an and the copy picture then is saved with the same name and again you update the external application as we have here in Microsoft Word but this is how Microsoft Project can be linked to other applications like Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Excel In this example we used a link between Project and Microsoft Word If you enjoyed this video Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.